Welcome back. It's still Entertainment TV live on Metro Television. We are live on DSTV channel 277, live on Facebook and YouTube is Metro TV Ghana. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram, Metro TV underscore GH. My guest uh, this afternoon, I mean, our guest this afternoon is a very big person. He is, <laughs> he's laughing. He is an act director. He's a creative director. He's a filmmaker and also a photographer. He's none other than Christian Saint Boachi Jr. But he's popularly known as Captain. So if you are watching this interview and you see the person sitting there and I'm saying Christian, Christian, <laughs> Uh, Saint Boache, it is your own captain. <laughs> it is your own captain, and he has done so many enormous things. He has worked with he has worked with individuals in the arts and entertainment industry on huge projects, and his skill set cuts across. So he has actually gotten the opportunity to also work with top artists on the African continent and also beyond. And this afternoon, we'll talk about. Him personally, his experience, his work, and how he's using what he's doing to represent Ghana and also Africa to the right. world. So that and many more on the table of life. So welcome to Entertainment TV on Metro <laughs> Television. The introduction, it was Oh, no, it's fine. It's, it's fine. fine. Yeah. It's fine. Okay. How are it's, you doing? I'm, I'm really fine. Thank you. you. Okay. Thank you guys for having me. All right. You live in Ghana or? Yeah, I live in Ghana. I okay. used to live in Dubai, but I live in Ghana now. Okay. Yeah. Why did you relocate? Oh, um, I, um, so at first I used to do a corporate work. Like mm -hmm. I used to work with um, a company, a fintech company. Okay. Um, they were into crypto and like technology. Yeah. So because of that, I had to move from here to um, Dubai. But um, yeah, like the contract ended. And, and okay. I mean, I've got family here. So yeah. I just came back and I felt like, okay, fine. Like, you know, let me see how I can also impact my you know, my skills yeah. with the industry here. Yeah. Even though it's not straight, it's not, it's not, it's not fully straight, but then I feel like, we'll I feel like there. I can, you we'll know. Get there, yeah. So I, I've, I, I made that decision and I've stayed, so I mean, okay. since then, yeah. yeah. We'll, we'll talk about image, uh, copyright too, no, and no so on right. and so forth. But right. then let's start the conversation with you personally. I okay. mean, I asked you if you are, you schooled here. Yeah. And let me start at, let me start with your surname, you are watching. So I'm, I'm guessing you're Ashanti. Yes, yeah, so my mom is from Ashanti region. Okay. My dad is from um, Atimpoku, which is Eastern. Eastern region. Yeah. Oh, okay, then. And you fear any fear. Yeah. <laughs> and it's all to tree. I understand. And so make okay, I understand I can speak, but not like. Kabako Cherry. Oh, I meet some in Wakasa, like. You know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but, but Christian, let, let's start with your work. I yeah. mean, um, you have said that. Um, it's it's very important to be able to represent what we are doing now to mm. the world. It's mm. it's you know, by our reader. But mm. then let's start. How how long have you been in this act and entertainment industry? I'll say professionally, seven years. Okay. Yeah, like seven years professionally. Mm -hmm. yeah. and was it a dream or you found yourself um, in that industry so along the line? Personally, I wanted to become a pilot, which I will become a pilot. Um, I just felt like um, with the kind of background I came from, um, you know, um, like my dad left us, you know, for like, for like, you know, when we were younger. Mm -hmm. So I had to like grow up quicker mm -hmm. as like, you know, to be a man, to like take care of like, you know, my family. Yeah. So because of that, like I had to think about what can I do to, you know, start to like to be able to tap into like passive income. You mm -hmm. understand? Mm -hmm. And then like use that to, you know, accommodate the family. Yeah. And then also my, I, I've got an elder brother too as well. I've got two sisters, but they were also coming up, you understand? Okay. So I felt like, how do I, you know, how do I also, you know, play a part? So what I said, that's the main reason why I said I stopped, the, I, I stopped the school because it wasn't helping me. Okay, so senior I, high school. It was senior high school. So okay. I had to stop and then focus on like getting a skill. And I did. So when I got the skill, I learned on the job. Um, I mean, it wasn't easy, but I learned the job and then I used that as an income, like okay. a stream. Okay. You understand? Yeah. So now when I use that as a, as a stream, now I'm able to now, um, you know, tap into different kind of yeah. like different yeah. fields. Yeah. But then as, as I thought I would use it just for like the stream for mm -hmm. like maybe probably like three years, I actually loved the job because... And you just... And I was it. like, okay, fine, let me just <laughs> do it for a, a while and yeah. then maybe in the future I might just start pursuing my actual dream. And then we'd love to ask, 
it made money. Right. Yeah, <laughs> it made course. money. Of course. Something that can take care of your family, I think, it, right. I mean, I think it's decent. Yeah. But I think probably the money also kept him. Ah, right. Of course. <laughs> <Yeah>. I, mean, <laughs> I, I, mean, it, I mean, it comes with a lot. I mean, yeah. apart from the money, like, you know, you get to meet people. Like, yeah. You know, I used to be an extrovert, so right. I used to really, you know, love, you know, talking to people, meeting yeah. people. Yeah. And, be, and, and also meeting people for the first time and loving your work. From like afar, Far, yeah, it's it's, it's a it's a bit therapeutic, yeah. you know, for somebody and, to just yeah. And you, you know, talking you know, about um, working with people, meeting people, mm. pay your bio. You have worked with Beats by Dre. Yeah. You have worked with Atlantic Record UK, yeah. Daily Paper, Rema, Chance the Rapper, Darko, Vic yeah. Mensa, Skepta, yeah. Sarko, yeah. Davido, <laughs> and these artists are huge. Yeah, very. And you, it, it gives you the opportunity to actually know their markets. Yeah. You're able to merge your markets yeah. with them and also thrive in your way. Yeah. But share the experience with us. How did these opportunities come by and how have you been able to utilize it? So um, it all started from the, the, um, the very first one. I love music, mm -hmm. but I can't rap, I can't sing. Okay. So I felt oh, like... I have a brother. <laughs> <laughs> I can't rap, I can't sing. So, um, but I love fashion so much. But I felt like... Um, when I started the photography, mm -hmm. um, I felt like, how can I tap into music? Mm -hmm. But maybe with a skill that I've, I've, you know, I've studied or I've learned, you mm -hmm. understand? So I felt like, okay, fine. Then what I can do to help the industry or maybe tap into it is to be different. So when my other friends or my other colleagues were doing weddings, shooting weddings and all that, I was focusing on fashion and music. So meaning I was shooting some of my friends who are like, um, musicians who are not out yet, mm -hmm. you know, shoot some of their content, their cover art. And then, um, Sakode was literally the first person that I started working with, like, you know, in the, like in the big mm -hmm. stream, like in yeah. the mainstream here. Yeah. I was working with him, like, I used to be his stylist at some, t like at some point. I became his model at some point. Okay. You know, it was all that journey. Yeah. And it got to a time when I sharpened my skill in photography, I then, like, started, like, working with him. Yeah. So his content was out. And, I mean, Sakura is big. So, yeah. you know, when he posts them, he tags me. And, yeah. you know, I'm, but then the thing, too, is that I didn't get comfortable because, you see, this is what I always tell people about trying to find value in what you do, but also not be at the same place. Because, I me, mean, what I did was I used Sakura as, as leverage for me. And then what I did was when I, when I shot with Sakura, I knew that, okay, fine, I can, I can now work with somebody else. So the Sakode would, would also think that I'm not just there milking his, okay. right. his, okay. his audience yeah. base. Yeah. So what I did was, I was like, okay, fine. When I worked with him, I'd work with somebody else and then it added some value to, you know, to my work. Mm -hmm. And also, I also networked through. So now when Sakode saw me work with, let's say, a Kelvin boy, mm -hmm. he's like, oh, okay. He's actually really doing his right. thing. Yeah. Right. Yeah. You understand? And yes. the more I, I did that with different artists, he also saw that I was also growing in the work and I was also growing in the job. So that's how come, like, you see people like Vic Mensa mm -hmm. and Chance the Rapper. It was all from Sakode. Sakode was the one that literally, like, introduced me to them yeah. for the first time. And Zlatan too as well. So that's what I'm saying, that the moment they, they're able to understand that you can grow in the job yeah. and then you don't just settle at one because I don't like to settle at one place. Like mm -hmm. I said, I, I like to, you know, jiggle a lot. So... I felt like, you know, working with him, I was able to also adapt get to Get other networks. You know, get other networks. Yeah. Just for him to yeah. also feel like yeah. I'm not just stuck with him. Yeah, yeah. Because on a normal day, someone would just be comfortable. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I'm, no, 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 no. no. I like to go harder. Mm. Like, I don't, even, I, I, like, I know he's big and I know he's the biggest here, mm -hmm. but I also want to also, you know, get. Establish yourself. You know, establish myself yeah. too as well so that he can also, you know, find more value in me. Yeah. No, more like just, you know, sticking with him. All right. So I think um, we'll delve now a bit into the image, image copyright, copyright yes, yeah. and creative direction. Now tell us, what is image copyright for someone who doesn't even understand what that really is about? So image copyright is like, for in photography, is, 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 is just the photographer owning the rights to images that um, your, your customer or your client may want to use, but then what they do is they, they pay you usage, usage fee or a license fee for you, for you to be able to use them. So that is like literally like image rights. So it's like 
I take a photo of, let's say, Sarko there, and he wants to use it for promotional um, materials. He's supposed, I'm supposed to, he's supposed to come to me as the photographer after shooting with him. Okay. Yeah, and after like, him paying you. After him paying me my right. day rate, mm. he needs to come to me for um, um, a license, a license agreement. Because without that, he wouldn't be able to use that. Otherwise, it's copyright infringement. Okay. And this is the, some of the things that a lot of photographers here don't really get. Yeah. And that is my message. And I think that is a lot of infringements because, hey, yeah. this is the you first see, time I'm hearing right. this. So that is the main, you see, that's, a, and it's, it's, <laughs> it's really amazing that this is the first time you're hearing this because yeah. it's actually happening. That's why you keep on seeing on Instagram that, oh, Coca-Cola see you this person or Adidas see you this person yeah. based on copyrights or okay. whatever. And you know, sometimes you don't read, sometimes we don't even read it to understand, but yeah. mostly, these things happen. It's really real. We have like a, we have a, a law abiding it here in Ghana, mm -hmm. like in our Ghanaian laws that protects the rights of a photographer. So when you when you do a a, um, a promotional shoot with a photographer, you are supposed to get a license before you can use it for either billboard, even using it for like your cover art and all those things. But you see here. It's pretty easy. They yeah. just shoot with you and they take that's it and then and that's it. True. And so for someone, it's not even about the artist or the yeah. actor or whoever, but someone who owns a salon, someone who owns something else and yeah. you see uh, Sarkozy's picture, you see Luda Chris, and they yeah. use it. Yeah. Are they also at fault? Are they also infringing yes. uh, this right? And can they be sued? Because, because the, if the photographer is able to find out these these he can he can say that he can come to you right. and, and send you a cease and desist. For you to take it out, and if okay. you don't take it out, he, he can sue you for in, in fridge because you you have taken his his what his property his without yeah. without permission. Then a lot of and these things work <laughs> too as well. Like I'm, right. I'm, I'm 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 just being honest. In Ghana yeah. here, in Ghana it works. The law works. Oh, there is it it works. Okay. I'm not I'm not even lying. There was okay. this um there was this photographer called Yao Pari. I think he's you like I think the Ministry of I don't know, but they use this content. Okay. And he took them to court. I think it. I think it got. I don't know how much. But for videos, oh, I have an right. idea of it. Because yeah. the whole ayat, uh, ayat yeah, 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 yeah. Even the okay, ayat, ayat, issue. ayat yeah. yeah. So that yeah. I understand. But yeah. for photo, right. so <laughs> if I get you, let's say for branding purpose, yes, promotional uh, purpose, promotional purpose, yes. I do a photo shoot with you. Yes, I'm supposed to come to you for you to license my pictures or. I am too. No, the pictures are not yours. The pictures are mine. Are yours? Oh. Yes, 100%. Wow. That's interesting. I paid you. After I've paid, you know. So that's the thing. There's, there's a difference between work for hire and mm -hmm. there, is, there, is a, there, is, um, there is when you're doing a promotional gig. So let me give you an example. Yeah. Break Let's it down. Let's say Adidas come to me okay. for a, a job. And they say, oh, um, Chris. Okay, let's use Metro TV. Let's say Metro TV. Metro TV. They want to do a billboard. Yes. Fine. Now, Metro TV comes to me and says, oh, they want to do a billboard, shoot, whoa, 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 whoa. They want to maybe, they want to use some of the presenters. Presenters, and all. yeah. Okay. After doing the shoot, mm -hmm. first and foremost is I'll definitely charge them the day rate, which yeah. is the day's work. Yeah. You understand? Now, when I charge them the day rate, now, they are only limited to social media. That means they're limited to only posting these pictures to social media because okay. it's free. Okay. There's not, it's not, it's not a sponsored, it's not, it's not like a paid campaign. Ad or something. But the yeah. moment there is, maybe they're, maybe they're using the pictures to promote you guys, maybe let's say in the press, mm -hmm. um, on billboards, nah, then that means that it's a paid campaign. It's a paid advertisement. Because you're paying for it. Even right. the billboard, you're paying for it. Yeah. Right? So that means that the photographer needs to give you the license for you to use it. Just like the way even when they are playing matches. Mm -hmm. Metro TV does buy licenses from DSTV or yeah, whatever. Yeah, or maybe the yeah, main yeah. the main service. Yeah. Just like that's the same thing. Because they own the rights. Mm -hmm. So you will understand? that come at an extra cost? Oh yeah, that's that's even way different from the, the, day, rate. the day The day rate is the is a day's hostel. <laughs> wow. <laughs> no, because the thing is, the thing is, let's say if Let's say if Metro TV comes to me, yeah. I, I can license it to them for a year. Okay. So they can use it for only just a year. Okay. After the next year, if they want to use it again, they can come to me and maybe we can be on a retainer. Renegotiate we, which, the terms. You know, we can, we can re renegotiate the terms. Yeah. And everything. But work for her is different. Work for her is like working with some, maybe working with a production company. Let's say Metro TV production company. They hire me to work under them for a job. 
That means that I don't own the ride because Metro TV owns Metro TV production team owns the ride because they've okay. hired me to come and work under them. Mm -hmm. Okay. But if I'm a whole entity, like I have my brand called right. New Saints Corporation, if you come to me for a gig, definitely. So, um, like even album cover art, mm -hmm. I did a black sherry. Yeah. Um, I did. Um, I think there was one with Sarah Yeah, they, I've Ooh. done different. I've done different yeah. works. I've done Darko. And then it was in London. It was like a big billboard in London, in West London somewhere. And trust me, like, that's what I'm saying. But they understand what I'm talking about. Yeah. But the moment they hit me, Atlantic Records hit me up and they told me about their work. I told them, okay, fine, this is the day's work and this is the license. And they told me, oh, they wanted, they wanted to use it for the billboard for just two weeks. I said, okay, fine. But then they paid, they paid for the day rates and they paid for... They paid for the two uh, weeks. the two weeks license yeah. to, um, to be able to use it as a billboard in West London. You understand what yeah, I'm saying? I get so, it. so that is that is how it works. But I mean, yeah. it's not like <laughs> that. <laughs> Trust me, if this understanding yeah. mm. was impacted into us, most of us would have done photography. Yo, I, yeah, <laughs> because yeah. if. If I'm to take a, a, a work with you yeah. and then work with another photographer, work yeah. with another one, that means yeah. I have to get license from everyone right. if, to be able to. That's if you're using it to, to sell yourself. Well, to purposes. sell myself, yeah. to, to add to my brand. Exactly. And in this case, it goes to most, let's say, models, yes. musicians, yes. and even, even bigger brands on bigger yeah. platforms. Business owners, yeah. skincare brands. Yeah. All them yeah, brands, yeah, like yeah. if you have a business that you're advertising. Yeah. But how many photographers in Ghana so that's understand the this? Yes. So that's the problem. The, pro the, the, the actual problem is that um, Ghana photography mm -hmm. pie chart, I'll use pie chart as an example, is that a lot of them are event photographers. Yeah. Okay. Let's be honest. A lot of them are event photographers. And even the new ones that come up want to start doing events. Mm -hmm. Some of them are now going to the celebrity side because it's fun to have the whole, yeah. you know, it's nice. But some of them just like to be at an event. They don't understand. But I'm coming from a commercial part of, uh, yeah. of photography. Yeah. Right. That this is what happens in the advertising business. You understand? And there's not a lot of us. There's a few. Mm -hmm. A lot of them are doing. There are amazing people here in Ghana that are actually doing heavy work. I'm not even gonna lie to you. Yeah. They're doing. I'm talking about like bigger works like Puma, Adidas, like big brands, Apple, whatever. But they, like I said, there are not a lot of us yeah. that are doing that. The majority is if, uh, event photographers. So it's very difficult for you to, you know, for you to be able to like even educate people on things like that because people don't see that. They so only look at the event. Right, perspective. Part. But does it work in the case where I only, when I walk to your studio, yeah. you take a picture and then I use it for this purpose? That's when this comes in. But if it's on a, as an event and all that, it doesn't work. Event, I don't shoot. I, I don't shoot events. Okay. I don't shoot. I'm not. Mm. I'm not. Yeah. So for those who do events, it yeah. doesn't really. Yeah. No. For them. For mm. them, I don't know the lot. But then for them, they also need. They also, as a photographer, mm -hmm. you own 100% right of the images. Yeah. Whether, ima whether yeah. event or whatever. They are yours. They are yours. Yeah. You are just give you are you are service you are like you are a service provider to yeah. your client. So you're giving it to your client. As a wedding, you're giving it to your client for them to use them. But they are for wedding, they are not selling them. Mm -hmm. yeah, 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 so for them they can for. use it. But the moment there is sales, that means that they need to be to a, they need they need to they need to let me know about what's going on. And also they need to like reach out okay. to like my team or whatever to like yeah, I mean, some of your 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 works are uh, images that I've sort of like seen in a music video, like yeah. Darko's own. Yeah, 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 I think I'm trying to remember the song, but yeah, I'm it was um, with Black Sharif. Black always. Sharif, yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. and some of um, I think the, there's another one too here where I I, I think it will be on the screen. How are you able to determine the final work? Like, how does like a photographer? Rel uh, it, you are able to tell that for branding purposes, yeah. how to help your brand. How do you make sure that you are able to settle on this one? What makes this particular picture the, the right one for what you want I to understand. use? Yeah. Yeah. Um, like, like I, I made a tweet two days ago and I was like, um, it's kind of really therapeutic in coming from um, like the slums of Accra, but being able to also understand what aesthetic means. Yeah. Um, I think having having the love for music and fashion mm -hmm. have really helped me navigate how to select 
like the proper the proper advertising material. Yeah. So um, yeah, for you can, a, a big brand to for a big see brand to, to see that oh this no nah, this is this yeah. is this you get what I'm saying yeah. because everyone can take photos but there's angles mm -hmm. there is aesthetic mm -hmm. there is what you see when you're creating like me like that when I go for a shoot I already know what I'm creating yeah. I already know that in my mind so the moment I get there I'm doing the same thing okay like I already know so I don't take time in shooting. You can ask people who have worked with me. Like, mm -hmm. I don't take time in doing that. Yeah. You understand? Because I already know which one would be good for, for Billboard. Mm -hmm. I know the one that would be good for Apple Music. Mm -hmm. I know the one that would be good for other DSPs like yeah. Spotify or yeah. whatever. Because, like, I understand what aesthetic means. I understand what advertising material means. Means, okay. So the understanding needs to start from there. An event photographer can shoot with you and will just shoot... The way they they they've been shooting as an, in an event, so maybe it might be more wide, it might be this, it might be that. But for me, something that I know that you you be using it for advertisement, I know that it needs to be more about the subject. Does it come with experience over yes, the of years? Course. Okay, it comes with experience, mm -hmm. and also it comes with it comes with um, you. Um, um, is it a material you've worked with over? It's not even about the material. Mm -hmm. It's about it's about fashion and music. For me, okay. in my side, okay, I feel like I have other mentors too. I also look up to and all that that I've seen, all the influences too. I've also seen that have influenced my. So when you look at them, you look at this, you're like, okay, fine, this. I think you should do it this way. We all come up with mood boards, yeah. and the mood boards is what guides us. But like mm. I said, the moment I get there, I already know, you know what? which ones can can be the money shots. Instead of just normal photos and you know what I'm yeah. saying. Yeah. But if you already, Helen, sorry, before yeah. you come in, if you already know, then how do you make sure that you, the, you, the art director, yeah. and also the artist, your yeah. vision are able to align yeah. to get a particular work done? Do you, do you get what I'm saying? The artist come and I have my own vision. Yes. You, the creative yeah. director, oh, or the act director, you I also have yours. Yeah. How do you oh, align so, so to make that, sure okay. that it works? So when when the, so when a darko like when darko hit me up, mm -hmm. they hit me up with their vision, right? The thing is, sometimes there are some artists who are really articulate. They know what they want. Yeah. So what you only do is you build with them, but. There are artists there who do not know, like let's say um, Kelvin Boy. Okay. He has an idea of what he wants. Yeah. But he he want he needs somebody like me to build it, build the idea to, for him. Yeah. So what I do is I listen to what he wants and I say okay fine. What I do is I ask him few few um few keywords mm -hmm. that he may you know he may want you know the the visual like I mean the visual to like communicate to. To, to his audience. Yeah. So what I do is then I build a mood board around it so that we don't we don't come up like he comes with an idea, I come with an idea, okay. and then, mm -hmm. I mean, we wouldn't be able to shoot. <laughs> yeah. But I mean, at the end of the day, he's the client. I'm not the client. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to provide, you know, services yeah. for him. So um, what happens is they come up with an idea of or a, a, a surface idea of what they want. We as art directors and also photographers or creative directors, we are the ones that build these keywords that they use. Mm -hmm. You can come and say, okay, I want something that I want people to feel happiness from when they look at the vis like I mean the visual. Maybe they want I want them to feel sadness. Maybe I want them to feel this. I want them to feel this. Then what we do is we take different elements, we put it together into a, into a like into a mood board. And then we share with the artists. Sometimes some of them decline it because sometimes it doesn't align with their vision. But for me, I've never, I don't remember when I pitched like a mood board to an artist that they didn't know. Because obviously, before you come to me, I already studied about who you are. So I know which one would align with you. You understand what I mean? Yeah. So, and also to, like I said, based of experience, when they know that you've worked with, a lot of brand, like a lot of bigger brands that are bigger than them. You understand? Yeah. They 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 are able to leave yeah. things for you to like you know like they for appreciate you to have the your yeah for you to have the creative yeah. control of yeah. like the work because yeah. they know that Captain oh, uh, he'll, Captain he'll, uh, he'll, uh, he'll, he'll, he'll do good. it he's done it for Skepta he has done yeah. it for this he has done it for Davido he has done it for that so he knows. What mainstream? He knows what it is. Like he knows the kind of visuals that yeah. can can represent me best, 
And me, for me, I can say that like an example of somebody that I've been working with that I really, I really love working with, who is like, who is big, but like trying his way to get to the global scale is like a Kelvin boy. Okay. A Kelvin boy comes to me when he wants to do something different. Okay. He has his regular shoots that he mm -hmm. does, which is fine. Right. But he comes to me when he wants to like do something different. Something I'm about I think. say weird because I'm on your page and I've seen <laughs> yeah. the Kelvin yeah. Boy shorts yeah. and mm -hmm. Charlie. Yeah. They are out of the box. And you can yeah. see that you can see through the images that yeah. is is like you can see that it did with good yeah. numbers. Like I'm yeah. talking about budget. Like the shots right. you take from the sneakers yeah. upwards. Yeah. What, what are you communicating? Yeah. <laughs> No, I mean, I mean, even, I mean, even the set design, the one, mm -hmm. the one from the studio. Okay. You can okay. tell that like there was like money invested in that. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. That he comes to me when he wants to do something different. Something well, different. Like, yeah, you know, maybe you know, make maybe make a statement in the industry in a bit, but then like, yeah, he knows that when he comes to me, I will start talking about set designs. I'm not. I'm not talking about just going to the studio and shooting. I'm talking about set design. I'm talking about okay. Let's have an art director on board. Let's have let's have this set design. Let's have um, let's hire a big studio. Let's do this. Let's do that. But this is all incorporated in photography, not like music video where people invest so much in music video. But yeah. what I want to do is I want people to also understand that photography is is more like it's something that you express. Like yeah. it's it's more like your artist statement. Mm -hmm. But like you're not saying nothing, but you're like the you're image. communicating to you're the communicating image. To, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So yeah. I feel like people, you know, that's... to also pay attention to that side. Yes, yeah. Because the I image sometimes will communicate. communicate yes, to you, you don't need a yeah. music. You don't always don't need a music, music video, video to do everything. Yeah, that is one <laughs> one thing why I love I love the the Western. I also love the Nigerian people. Mm -hmm. I would always say that because there is investment mm -hmm. in imagery. Mm -hmm. This is not music video. I'm talking about image. I'm talking about the, the spending. There is. There is just one concept, but there is almost 20 people working on the concept oh, no, on the or on set. There is a costume designer. There is a set design. This is photography, yo. Yeah, right. but <laughs> it's not even about... But Captain, <laughs> this is all yo. Yes. I understand. It's all money. Sometimes they have people that invest in them. Exactly. Yeah, we don't have Some of them are on bigger labels right. and so they can afford. I understand. Yeah. I understand that. <laughs> don't, don't, don't get me wrong. I understand yeah. that. Mm -hmm. But if somebody like a Kelvin Boy is, is, is doing... Is trying his best yeah. to put his brand there, then I think you as an upcoming artist, which I understand that your budget might may not, you know, may not get to, may not work with me, which is right. fine. But I feel like you, you should be able to work to get to where, where, like where your standard want. Because I feel yeah. like if you want to communicate with a global standard, I can make that happen with my imagery. You understand? Yes. And us, and us, a young um a young um, artist who is coming up, I feel like you should definitely live within your means. I feel like what they do is, you know, as young as they are, they, you know, they envision big, which is fine. It's yeah. good to dream, but try to take steps that, you know, try to work with what is around you. But they look at the Rema and they want to be that, but your budget is not actually really close but sometimes it's about packaging you know they talk about packaging you might not have it but you package yourself there. But, but, and that's how you even get bigger brands to want to you know invest in you but if, but if your package is low how do you understand come you can package yourself which is good i don't have no right. no no um, um, um bad feeling about that but if you want to package then that means that you need to work hard to meet with the packaging because you can't package and in real life or maybe in, in, in entertainment talks or meetings, mm. your, your idea or your IQ is not even, it doesn't even match up with what you're packaging. Then what are you packaging for? That means <sighs> you're living a mediocre lifestyle. Right, <laughs> so you should be investing. So to me personally, I feel like mm. what, what should happen more is investment in self. Yeah. In self. I, for that, I don't, I always tell my people like, investment in self is everything. So with what you have, you need to, you need to be able to measure your goals. So as a young artist, you know that, oh, Captain, I don't know if you pay Captain now, but I can work mm. with this guy, that this guy could maybe give me something that is close to that. That means you're living within your means, but you know what you want. But trying to get to Captain, and mm. it's fine. You can get to Captain, you can come and work with me, which is fine. As a young artist who is maybe, do not have the, the major, there are artists that I work with that don't, do not have heavy budget. Yeah. But what I do is, I do, I do it because I love the music. Yeah. Music moves me. So 
I love to do it. You understand? Right. Ours yeah. is like more like a passion project. Yeah. We, we are going for a quick commercial break. Okay. I mean, in case you just tune in, we are talking to Christian St. Bwachi Jr., Thank you. a.k.a. Captain. <laughs> yes, and he is like a photographer, an act director. He's a creative director, and he knows more about image copyright. And he has been teaching us all about image copyright, which has been my first time of hearing it. And mm. he has educated us a lot. But then when we come back, all these things that these um, big guys or these creatives are doing on the continent, how yeah. is it shaping the African continent? Mm. How is it shaping people's perspective mm. um, to come to Africa or mm. work with African mm. artists? So after the break, he will tell us more about a little of representation and what he's also intend to do yeah. to educate photographers. Yeah. The, the, the Ghanaian yeah, the public Ghanian, yeah. on, I mean, image, copyright, yeah. and so on and so forth. So after the break, we'll touch on this, and then we'll finally wrap up uh, yeah. the show. It's still Entertainment TV on Metro Television. We'll be back with more. Welcome back. It's still Entertainment TV Live on Metro Television. And this afternoon, we are talking about image, copyright, and creative direction and we have Christian Saint Boache Jr. aka Captain and he has been educating us a lot. But then in his bio he said something very, very interesting. He said he believes that the um, the magnitude of African single story largely depends on its budden film and creative industry. And as a filmmaker and a photographer, I want to find out from our music videos from our acts, from our entertainment, everything that we are trying to paint Africa for the world, the diasporas, and even through Africa to understand that this is what we have to offer. How well are we doing with the painting? Are we doing it well? Are we communicating well? I think for Ghanaian, are you talking about Ghanaians or Africans? Ghanaians. Then we'll go to okay. Africa. Because right Ghanians, now, it's not um, only Ghanaians. Yeah. I, for Ghanaians, I think we're doing well. Trust me. Like I, like I said, I think we're really doing well. We just need we just need more support. Mm -hmm. We need more... Like, we need a lot of... We need to... We need a lot of grooming. Mm -hmm. We need to groom a lot of young guys into getting into skill work. Okay. Because the white-collar jobs is fine, but yeah. we need more people... Like I said, we need more people in the work, in the job... That way we'll be able to like, you know, do well. Because the ones that we have right now are not, I wouldn't say, they are not actually a lot that okay. are actually pushing the narrative out there. Okay. They may be doing it, but it's not being amplified globally. Okay. You understand what okay. I'm saying? So I may be doing it. Mm -hmm. There is other people who are doing it, but our voices may not be as larger if we all come together. Together as a collective to you do understand? it. understand? And yeah. also to, with the government about, even the creative art department, like mm -hmm. the great, mm -hmm. creative art mm -hmm. mini, like ministry, ministry needs, to, yeah. needs to be able to step in and like have a lot of forums, yeah. Yeah. a lot of like training days, a lot of like, um, 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 and how do I say, like seminars, you seminars know, like master yeah. class and all yeah, that. Yeah, master class and seminars. Because yeah. now the ones that are doing that are private firms and private True. organizations and they, that they are, are charging doing it. Huge and they are charging huge yeah. amounts yeah. of, amount of money for you to so, enroll. Yeah. Yeah. But we should be able to have, I mean, we should be able to have grant, mm -hmm. even grant mm -hmm. for photographers. Because I know other people who want to do it, but they don't, they do not they don't have, have the funds. They don't yeah. even have equipment. Yeah. Captain, at a time is oh, up. But then yeah. what do you also have to offer people who are interested? So me personally, right now, a um, um, month ago, I did a, um, I joined a master class that mm -hmm. I taught people, uh, young young people about copyright and you know photography and their business. Yeah. But right now, by the end of the year, I'm hopefully hopefully I'm trying to put together like a master class where okay. I can teach, you know, um, young people maybe like a three day or maybe a a week master class mm -hmm. about the photography business, the image business, and also how they can also monetize from photography from and photography. also yeah. and also um, create uh, like other. Creative visual arts. Yeah. Captain, our time is up, and mm, I really, okay. really appreciate you for Thank coming you. this afternoon. You've you really taught us a lot. And no. if anyone <laughs> wants to learn more, yeah. just follow him on Instagram. Instagram at I am Captain. Captain with a K. Yes, Captain. I with a K. am Captain. Yeah. And you get all the information. And I mean, we'll all join the masterclass. Thank you. Yeah, thank you very much. <laughs> I will. Thank you. All right. <laughs> okay. A happy birthday going now to Denny Aji Lore. Um, Melcom group of companies marketing manager and this is coming from 
Ignite Media Group to you. Enjoy your birthday. And also, a very happy birthday going out to Augustina Akon. Uh, you are, this dedication goes to you. It says, my super, super girlfriend and little sister, may the good Lord continue to bless and give her a long life full of riches from your parents and siblings. We love you. So, a happy birthday to you. And special shout out going now to Tree Comb Beauty Salon for my hair. Thank you so much. <laughs> Captain. Yeah, um, yeah, big shout outs to um, um, Kwabna Kevin for putting this together. And also, big shout outs to my wife, too, as well, Shadi. Oh, London right shout outs to the wife. Right. Yeah. My name is Nanaya Tanobwache, and I did this with Helen Anu Anuweja, aka Helen K. Tomorrow, I'll be back. <laughs>